What's up, CCW? I'm Chris Farrell. You watching CCW Live, baby. Fans, we are back, and again, this matchup, it's going to be wild and it's going to be crazy, but it's got serious implications for an event two weeks from now in Port St. Lucie at Game of War. And Dan, here comes Danny Briggs. We saw this man last month here at Back to the Brew 40. He actually joined us on commentary. Then got up, got involved in Cha Cha Charlie and Stallion Rogers. Seems like formed a friendship with Stallion Rogers, costing Cha Cha Charlie that match. And ever since then, him and Stallion Rogers have been teaming up, and they are getting ready for a game of war. And this is a dangerous, dangerous man. Yeah, Danny Briggs interjecting himself in that match. Seemingly without cause, but certainly there was a conspiracy there with he and Stallion Rogers. Yeah, he got involved in the uh, in the match last month. He did. I remember that he took Cha uh, Cha's hat, started dancing around like you know, like Cha Cha, and, and uh, he paid the price for that. Well, it doesn't come any. They don't come any tougher than Danny Briggs, though, Jack. Maybe that might be your opinion, but yeah. Have you gone toe-to-toe with this guy before? I have. And I'll tell you what, he hit me very hard. I had his handprint on my chest for about a week. Talking about handprints on chest. Oh, yeah. If you're at the receiving end of one of those Stallion Rogers overhand chops. I've also had his handprint on my chest for about a week as well. Both these guys are very tough. You had the crown? <laughs> Man, what's with the crown all of a sudden? I don't know. I just, it's just like they turned overnight, you know? Uh, well, they still appear to be fan favorites to me. But they just but they have a big problem with the South American Alliance, though. They do, and they walk to the beat of their own drum, you know what I mean? They've been tag champions for almost a year, over a year. And I think their main goal and concern is to keep it and go at a... They'll go to any likes to keep it. Yeah, and they're friends with that guy Meadow, the Bulgarian Punisher. Who will also go to any likes to keep his title, too. I mean, talk about a guy that wants to make a name for himself in CCW. Look no further than this guy, Stallion Rogers. He's been making a lot of noise here. Yeah, I think when it comes to the crown and their attitude change, I just think it's the bad company they're keeping around. With Meadow, Stallion Rogers, and now adding Danny Briggs to the mix. And Stallion Rogers, you know, one of the hottest, hardest hitters here. Him and Cha Cha have been going at each other's throats. And this is just a team of killers, isn't it? It is indeed. I'd say so. And introducing their partners.
Meanwhile, the tag team champions getting ready to make their way to the ring. Any day now, boys. They have an iron grip on those belt jackals. One of the, if not the most dominant tag team the last territory has seen the crown. They are brothers Leonis and Maximus Khan. And man, they just, when they walk in, you feel that aura. You feel the change in the room. You know things are about to get serious. And like you said, guys, still fan favorites. Just, uh, they don't team up with the greatest of people. Strange bedfellows, guys, strange bedfellows. I guess. They, did, they just care about one thing and one thing only, which I respect. They just want to win. And let's not forget, Dan, 20th anniversary. We saw South American Alliance in the crown go to war for those tag team championships. And what a war it was for the crown victorious over the South American Alliance. And things have escalated so far to this point where we're gonna have a multi-man match to decide that advantage for the Game of War match. June 15th, Port St. Lucie, Game of War. This has such big implications, and you know this team of killers wants that advantage. Who's he looking for? They do indeed. Now these four will be joined by the Southeastern Champion Meadow in Port St. Lucie. And of course, the only way to win that match by knockout or submission. It doesn't get meanier than these guys. And of course, this match stack will notice qualifications. No count out. Can only win by pinfall First, or submission. I got one prediction. Oh well, mayhem. Oh, oh, no. I'm I'm excited for this one. It's been a common theme for the night. Got the South American Alliance. Well, he's got a pipe. He's got a tail pipe. The Brazilian is sure pointed it right at Stallion Rogers. And you will notice no Ariel Levy not able to be here tonight with the South American Alliance. South American Alliance and Chacho Charles saying they got a surprise partner. They make their entrance, the crowd chanting, si se puede, hey. or something like that. Um, yes, yes we can, yes, Alan we can. Martinez. Hey, they are saying it is the summer of S2S. That is the leader of the si se puede movement, Alan S2S Martinez. I would say, I don't know if you guys agree with this, probably Jack will won't. I would say Alan S2S Martinez, pound for pound, one of the best wrestlers in the last territory. Why, why wouldn't I agree with that? Well, last time I said you said besides yourself. When I'm active. Right now, I'm inactive. He can have that title until I come back. And introducing their first partner. Cha <laughs> Cha Charlie. That's my boy. A tag team partner of yours on many occasions, Jackal. The face on the franchise. He got a pull cue. He got a pull cue. They want to call a pull cue. You're on the right. Charlie. Charlie. Guys, I got a feeling this one isn't going to be for the faint of heart. I think they're going to get down and dirty here in Hialeah on Granite Brewing Company. And I think the CCW faithful wouldn't want it any other way. 
I agree Josh with you, Tyler. Josh strutting his way around ringside. And he's shooting some pool tonight. He's going to shoot. He's pretending that Danny Briggs' bald head is right in between that pedal, that stick. Well, he's out there cha cha with his people, dancing all night long. But who's going to be their, their fourth partner tonight? And those are big shoes to fill. It's going to be Ariel Levy. And then it's going to be four on three. Who's going to be their fourth? This is interesting now. Well, right now it's cha-cha time, apparently. Cha-cha dancing away. We're about to find out who the final competitor now, is on this team. Due to traveling conflicts, Ariel Levy of the South American Alliance could not be here tonight. However, please welcome his replacement partner. It's Chris Barrow. From about that replacement at all. I, I don't say I would. I mean, one of the flag bearers of the CCW Cruiserweight Division, former Cruiserweight Champion, Chris Farrell. And let's not forget, guys, at Rumble in the Jungle, he was in six-man tag team action. And then at last break at the Soul Survivor, he was in an eight-man tag Soul Survivor match. So he is used to these multi-man matches. He's already warmed up for them. He's got the experience. This one is I, I, I question the choice. Look at that. I, I love it, dude. Because of the size. The guts of Chris Barrow going into the ring, being the first one to enter the ring. And I agree, Dan, the size, but that's never stopped Chris Barrow before. I mean, he, look at now these guys are turning their backs on him. Oh, look at this. They better turn around. <laughs> it's already started. The South American Alliance, Cha Cha Charlie, Chris Farrell on the attack. Danny Briggs all alone in the ring. There in the ring. Good luck to Bruce Owens. And there goes Danny Briggs. Hey, watch the table. Our table's about to fall over. Look at Cha 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 Cha. What the hell is Chris Farrow doing now? Oh my! Farrow down hard on the crown. Jump in, Take Cole it, Cole Cole it out. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, that's. You don't think. Are you kidding me with Alan Martinez? There's bodies everywhere. Oh my! Mike could not two members of his own team. It's a sea of bodies out here on the concrete about, floor. No, 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 look at Venetius. No, he didn't get what he think. Is he think. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hey, watch the table. Oh my goodness. Dan, we're gonna need some help out here. Look at Big Vinny. Look at uh -oh. Big Vinny. No, 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 both teams. Big, big Vinny from the apron. Venetius destroyed oh them. When you put a... Oh, he just... Venetius blinded by rage right now. And he just hit S2S with the stairs? He's, I don't know. I wonder where Stallion Rod. That's a great yeah, there question. There he is on the other side of the ring. We got coffee everywhere. We got bodies everywhere. Uh, this is only a bash at the boo, boys. Only a bash at the boo. They're standing right there. And these sickles are chained for tables. The people I think the Stallion people Rogers won. avoided all of that mayhem. Oh, look out! Oh, man, oh, man, a Shevardino just got nailed in the head with those steel steps. 
Uh-oh, Alan Wait. Martinez has been lacerated. How did that, how did that happen? I think, I think he came into contact with those stairs as well. Those stairs are very dangerous. People don't realize that these stairs, whew, very sharp, very hard, and uh, steel chair just thrown sweater. inside the ring. I'm loving this right now. It's all out mayhem. We don't know what's going to happen. Oh. Venetia just waffled Rogers with that steel chair. If he wasn't the crowd, still down on the outside. If he wasn't dangerous enough, the destroyer has got a damn chair in his hands. Oh, look at oh, this. Look He's at got this. trapped. Martinez, coast to coast. As Torres goes coast to coast on Stallion but Rogers. Danny Briggs is beating the snot of the cha-cha right in front of me. Oh, please don't. Oh, oh man, this is a perfect Cha-cha's hands bouncing off the oh. Not just the table, but those belts, those tag team title belts. And the ring bicycle kick to the head of one of the members of the crown. Martinez now going to the outside, looking for the springboard. Look at that, Suez! Oh! The crowd just nailed it with that steel chair. Leonis anti-air. Briggs putting the boots to Cha-Cha and Farrell on the outside. Excuse me, that was Maximus. Just absolute chaos. I mean, Chris Farrell and Danny Briggs going to war right next to me. Maximus and Manish is going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Manish is getting the better of him. Oh, look out. Oh, oh my gosh. That almost broke the ring. The whole damn... The whole damn brewery shook Jacqueline. I mean, yeah, I, I, I felt a little crump. I felt a little rumble underneath my shoes there. Yeah. And the crowd chanting, this is awesome. And this is awesome. This is awesome. We're at the main event of Best to Brew. And I'm, I'm excited. Back to the window, guys. And staring down the crowd. You know, I don't like his odds here, Jackal. Oh, no. I don't like it either. Oh, man. Pharaoh not scared at all. He's not backing out. Wait, look at Chop Chop from behind. Oh. I don't know if there was collaboration with part of Chop Chop and Pharaoh, but it certainly looked that way. It looked like Farrow he just saved Chris Farrow's life. <laughs> I just saved Chris Farrow's life. Oh, look at Stallion. What's Chop going to do here? Chop Chop hard into the corner post. Man, Stallion's been the X Factor in this one. He's been picking his shots, hasn't he? Belly to back suplex, well executed. Rodgers, so dangerous. He's, He's so quick. So Cerebral. Oh. Power bomb. Picking up Farrow by the hair. Oh, the oh. double stop. Oh my God, that can do it. That's got to be he it. stacks him up. Two. Oh, Farrow able to kick out. Farrow's tough, man. Very <laughs> resilient. Heart of gold up by Farrow. Briggs now entering the fray. This doesn't look good Barrow for Chris, alone man. in the ring with, yeah. with Briggs and Rogers. It does not look good for Farrow. Oh. Short arm pulls line. By the London native. It is. Absolutely. Cha-Cha on the crowd on the other side of the ring, Jackal. Chaos. You have Cha-Cha slapping Leonis across the chest, fighting. Luxstone, bringing the world of natural stone and quartz to you. We work to help you find the perfect stone surface for your designer needs. Get inspired at our showroom in Miramar. Call or visit luxstonemia.com. You worked hard, started a family, and created a name for yourself in your professional circles. Your success created opportunities for your loved ones, to your family and community. You are a source of wisdom and financial support, and you take immense pride in putting others' needs ahead of your own. In these closing chapters of your life, a private estate at the Gardens of Boca Raton can memorialize your family name across generations. The Gardens of Boca Raton, two-time winner of Best of Palm Beach County.
Stallion Rogers beating the brakes off Chris Fowler inside the ring. Venice is, is he's, he's recovering from that double slam by the crown. I mean, it's, it's all out chaos here. Just so hard to keep up with. It is wild to see the main event of Bachelor the Brew at this point of view. I've never been ringside to call a Bachelor the Brew. I'm always usually in the main event, but it's an honor to be here right now. Both of these men. Meanwhile, back in the ring, stalling suplex of the double variety. Briggs and Rogers have Farrow up and have him down, and that could do it. One, two, and Farrow shows why they chose to be a member of this team. Guts galore, resilience galore. Wow. Brazilian destroyer Venetius now back in the ring. I don't even know how the Brazilian destroyer is moving right now. Nonetheless, fighting back against Danny Briggs and Stallion. It's like a freight train, guys. That's exactly it. He's gonna go for this big suplex. Oh. 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 Nicely done by the big man. I think it took just as much as out of him as it did Danny Briggs. You might be right. Rogers now rolling back in. Senton connects with Venetius' midsection. Seems like this whole match, Stally Rogers is at the right place at the right time. Cha-Cha right, yeah. fighting back in the outside from the crown as that knee comes across the jaw of Venetius at the hand of Stallion Rogers. This is just a preview of things we're going to see June 15th. Well, June game 15th, more. we'll have two rings surrounded by a steel cage and a total of 10 men once war game begins. Alan Martinez, an absolute bloody mess on the outside. Rogers pummeling Venetius in the corner. Reversal, though, by the big man. Hard oh. to the buckle goes Rogers. And Venetius just ate those strikes of Stallion Rogers that would usually put any other man down. Martinez and Cha Cha right near the entrance fighting the crown. I mean, Martinez is bloody. Cha Cha's got cake. Oh, all there's over the pull cue. Cha Cha catching Briggs coming in. Cracks that pull cue across his back. Venetius alone in the ring. Now Rogers back in. He waffled over that steel chair. The crowd calling for tables. An absolute war, gentlemen. That is what we're seeing. And bloody non-stop war. Venetius now jamming that chair in between the turnbuckles. Oh, oof. and that headbutt by Stallion Rod was so effective. I don't know if that phase Venetius. <laughs> Just eats it's take a lot more than that. Wow, Venetius' head just oh. connected with that steel chair. And you have to think Venetius might be done after that one. I mean, head straight through that chair. We've seen Venetius take beating after beating after beating, and the man just keeps getting up. I have no doubt that the man's got resilience. Roger now with Barrow. Barrow, though, breaking the arms free and delivering a forearm to the jaw. Just he just chopped him right in the head. That's got to hurt, man. Surprised he didn't break the hand. Leon is not just hammering oh. away on the head of Alan Martinez. Oh, Chacha coming to his aid. Look at that cut on the side of Martinez's head. Oh, Look at that. He's leaking everywhere. Oh, my God. We're gonna need a doctor to check on S2S. It's Roger, drop kicking Cha Cha Charlie through the ropes. Just being that ring general, holding down that ring, not letting anyone else come in. Just absolutely destroying Pharaoh right now. Pharaoh in trouble in the ring. Roger driving that knee into the jaw. Danny Briggs is in the ring. Every other competitor on the outside. Cha-Cha Charlie caught the crown. Martinez, gamely fighting back against Maximus Khan. He catches him with a super kick. 
that took a lot out of Martinez. He's bleeding profusely, man. Look at Danny Briggs. Danny Briggs. Drop kick right in the face of Chris Farrow. Martinez again, gamely fighting back against the crown. Martinez a bloody mess. Cover in the ring. One, two. Only a two count. Man, that was Farrow close. able to power out somehow. Chris Farrow, to me, is the MVP of this game. He keeps getting up. He keeps coming. Here comes Cha Cha. <laughs> Water ball to the back of the head. Cha Cha now laying the boots to Stallion Rogers. Wait, look at Venice. on the outside. He's got a keg off. Cha Cha with Rogers. Cha-Cha and Ovo connects. That's got to be it. That's got to be Hook it. Hook of the leg. Owens is there. Two. Oh, only a two count. So close to securing his team that game of war, game of war advantage. I don't know. I, I, I don't know where to look. Well, I'm turning my attention to what's inside the ring. That's the only place a pitfall can occur. Cha-Cha throwing Rodgers to the outside. There goes now everybody on the outside except for Farrow. Everyone, the every, crowd now. Everyone on their feet oh, here. Oh, Leonis Khan has a table. Well, you ask, you shall receive. The crowd wanted it. They got a table. Alan Martinez is going to need medical attention. He's got a bad cut. In a bad spot, it's on the top of his head, Jackal. I saw it. It's, right... it's about five inches down. It's, it's, it's from the stairs. It's from the stairs, Dan. I think you are correct. Uh, they got the Martinez table. Martinez in the ring now. There's only one question that remains. Who's going through that table? It looks like right now, Alan S2S Martinez is that man. Danny Briggs is jaw jack of the jack on the outside. S2S is two on one with the crown. Oh, they're just beating the hell out of him, Dan. Martinez in a bad way. He's leaning up against that table. The crown. Pat Martinez at, his, at their mercy. Oh, oh, Martinez with a straight boot to the face. Here comes of a charging Maximus Khan. Oh, Venetius just saved us to us. Venetius cuts off Leonis with that crossbody tackle. What are we seeing? It's absolute chaos, uh, Tyler. What are we seeing right now? We're seeing ab absolute mayhem. Uh, I you and Danny Briggs almost start throwing hands. Dude, I came here to do one job, and that is to commentate, not to fight. The crowd, Pat Meadow in a bad spot here. Venetius. Meadow seemingly had the advantage, but Leonis Khan came from behind. Peculiar situation here, oh, Dan. Oh, wait a minute. No way. That man is over 300 pounds. The Brazilian destroyed the Oh, my gosh. Oh! Man, and he landed badly. He landed badly. It was on the lower part of that table, Jackal. He's done! His head bounced off that table. His lower back went through it. Are you kidding me? I'm not. If he drags him to the center of the ring, I think it's going to do it. The crown goes for the cover. Look at this. Oh, Martinez off the top rope with a leg drop. Where will this one end? I have no idea. I thought for sure that that was it. Martinez now springboard. Oh, but the crowd caught him. Like he was nothing, but S2S still fighting, Dan. Oh, inside cradle. One, two. Oh, Khan kicks out. Oh, oh. and going right to the head. He, he caught him with that one. Martinez now. 
Oh, he reversed it. Oh, oh my God. He dropped their That's straight gotta be down. It. Falcons arrow. One, two. Cha-Cha, though, with a leg lariat. Breaks up the pin. He barely got there, Dan, but he broke it up. Man. Cha-Cha needs to capitalize. I don't know how, but somehow kicked out deep. Back. Backstabber. He nailed it, and he got it good. Cha-Cha has the hat. He you could be going means. to the top. He's got to get up there. If he nails this man, you splash. Call it a night. He's Cha-Cha. He nailed it. That's going to do it. One, two, no. Oh, Danny Briggs. Briggs pulled the leg of the referee, Bruce Owens. Damn it. That damn Danny Briggs, man. He's going to get his. Cost and Cha Cha. And I think twice. that time is right now. I hope Cha Cha punches him right in the face. Cha Cha waiting on him. Briggs lost his balance. Ooh, that headbutt connected though. It's slippery Briggs now with Cha Cha. Got a purge. Oh, oh man, oh man, is Chavez. Say goodnight. One, two. Oh, oh Farrow making the save. Keeping this match. Holy guacamole, I can't believe it. <laughs> you can say that again, Dan. Mr. 954 giving it straight to Danny Briggs. Briggs, though, reversal. Out of the way of that punch is Farrow. Briggs has a hold of him, though, and a chop across the chest. They're just fighting, trying to grab a hold of each other. Both men sweating, blood over them. Bergamotta, what a reversal. And a super kick connects. Briggs still maintaining his feet. Now he's down from that leg lariat. But here comes Stallion Rogers. Waiting for the right moment. Just like he's been this whole damn match. Oh! German suplex dropped it right on his shoulder and neck. Farrow, Farrow out on his feet seemingly. Yeah, I mean, he looks done for. Stallion just lurking over him. And still no respect. He's slapping him at this point of the match. Farrell unable to get to his feet. What's gonna happen now, guys? Boy, everybody is down, with the exception of Farrell and Rogers. And Farrell refuses to quit, refuses to get dropped. Oh, oh that forearm. Still on the ropes. Rogers berating Chris Farrow, saying to fight back. And <laughs> Farrow obliges with the four under the jaw. And again. They're going toe to toe. That overhand chop though. Taking Farrow to his knees. Out on the outside of the ring, it's Danny Briggs. And a member of the crowd beating down Cha Cha Charlie. Reversal by Farrow. Hard to do the bucket. Rogers meets a drop kick, but still not enough to take him off of his feet. Rogers now in trouble. Farrow flying across the ring, 25 feet, driving a shoulder into the midsection. Mr. 954. Close line connects. That must be it, guys. Looking for that slice Farrow bread. looking for slice bread. Damn it, it, Dan. That could be it, Dan. Go cover for the cover. cover him. Oh, oh no. he's dragging him into position. This could be it. This could make it or break it. Farrow looking for the 450. Look at Maximus on the outside trying to grab with the boot. Farrow escaping the grass. K954 hit that 450. Oh. Oh, but he saw him. What the hell? Oh, come on. Oh. Meadow with the spear. Meadow with that part of this from? match. He speared him in half. Damn it. But there's no disqualification. After all this, of course, Levy, due to travel issues, not able to be here, not able to even the odds. Oh, forget it. He spiked him. One, two, and three. You got the kid. Here are your winners, the team of oh. Stallion Rogers. Well, it ended up as five on four, Jackal. Can't get over the whole uh, Danny Briggs.
Kids throwing a beer in my face. I'd like to see him get what he deserved in that match. This match tonight, but. Well, you're gonna have to wait till June 15th, Jackal. Leonis and Maximus Khan, Danny Briggs, Stallion Rogers, and now Meadows in the ring, making a five on four advantage. And there you see why this match is so important. As now this team will have the advantage going into Game of War. And with that advantage, did this team just secure themselves a win for Game of War? I mean, well, only time will tell, Tyler. But let me tell you something, Tyler. Last year, the very same thing happened where the team of Levy, they had the advantage and they ended up and they ended up losing. So at the end of the day, when the match starts, when the game of war starts, anything, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Anything can happen in there. Anything life. can happen. Man, this team just looks so dominant after what we just saw here tonight. Now going in with the advantage. Cha Cha trying to pull Farrow out of the ring. But Rod is grabbing him back in. Always needs to get Farrow out of that ring. We don't need any more damage done to this young man who fought so valiantly in this matchup. Coming in at a moment's notice, replacing Ariel Levy, who was unable to get out of the country of Chile and get here in time to compete in this match. And there you see it. The team of Danny Briggs, Leonis and Maximus Khan, and Stallion Rogers victorious here tonight with the help of their tag team partner, Meadow. Wrestling fans, we've only seen the beginning. Two weeks from now, June 15th, we will see a game of war. On behalf of my broadcast colleague, Tyler Cashmere, and our special guest, Jackal Stevens, I'm Dan Evans. Good night from Match of the Room 41. Do you want to be a mark? Or do you want to leave a mark? I'm smarter than the average bear.